Venus is the second planet in the solar system and is one of the four telluric planets, along with Earth, Mars, and Mercury. It therefore occupies a special place in our system, and it's precisely for this reason that the world's space agencies have dedicated several missions to it in recent decades. Scientists have now been able to take real pictures of Venus for the first time. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. Venus and our Earth Venus and Earth are similar in size, composition, and mass. They differ from each other because there are neither oceans nor human life on Venus, and there, daily temperatures reach 484 degrees Celsius. During the day, the temperature is so high that it can melt lead. The dense atmosphere consists of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid, which causes a greenhouse effect by trapping heat. Venus rotates every 225 Earth days in a circular orbit around the Sun. Venus slowly rotates clockwise around its axis, which is called retrograde rotation because it corresponds to the opposite direction of the other seven planets. The rotation of Venus takes 243 Earth days, so the days on Venus are longer than the years. Like the other inner planets, the surface of Venus was modeled by meteorite impacts tectonic activity in volcanoes, which scientists believe are still active. It's assumed that volcanic activity is the source of the sulfur found in the atmosphere. Venus has no natural satellites. What does the surface of Venus look like? The surface of Venus is a very hot and dry place. The largest part of the surface consists of plains. Venus has several large lowlands and two large plateaus which are about the size of Australia and South America. On Venus, there are several mountains and volcanoes, and a large part of this surface is covered by ancient lava flows. The highest mountain on Venus is Mount Maxwell. It's over seven miles high and is higher than our Mount Everest. Venus doesn't have many craters because most meteorites burn up in its dense atmosphere and many of the existing craters are covered by lava flows. The images above are computer-generated views of the surface of Venus using information from surface radar maps. Venus's atmosphere is too thick for us to see its surface, but the radar can penetrate Venus's thick atmosphere so that we can see what the surface looks like. The volcano Mott Muns on Venus There are several volcanoes on the surface of Venus, and Mott Muns is the highest on the planet. It has an altitude of 8 kilometers above the main radius of the planet and a caldera with a diameter of 28 by 31 kilometers. Inside the caldera are at least five other smaller collapsed craters with a diameter of 10 kilometers. The volcano Mat Muns takes its name from the Egyptian goddess of justice and truth, Mat. In the course of its history, there have probably been two major collapses in its structure. The picture was taken by a Magellan probe. It shows signs of lava flow from the craters. In fact, radar investigations of the Magellan probe have provided evidence of recent volcanic activity on Mott Muns. Many volcanoes on Venus. There are a large number of volcanic peaks on Venus and a particularly slow rate of this vulcanization. The point tectonics of each of these volcanoes feeds the numerous volcanic structures of Venus. The magma is lifted by a raised colony. It lifts off one part of the crack and the other. This lack of gravity, the Manusian crust is plastic, keeps the phys open and the magna underneath is slowly flowing, which explains the presence of the ribbed and folded terrain. According to all the evidence, Venus has a mechanism to destroy its ancient crust in order to counteract the formation of new crustaceans estimated at 2 cubic kilometers per year. The rate is particularly slow for this volcano, 2 cubic kilometers of new water per year, which is 10 times less than on Earth. If this type of volcanism 
is abstract in nature, it's worth mentioning that the volcanoes have a total of one or two cubic kilometers per year at each point. This is a contemporary volcano. Its surface is only 500 million years old. In summary, Earth and Venus are the perfect location for the turtle and the volcano. The Earth is the source of the volcanoes, but it also makes them alive. While the Venus turtle is the source of the volcanoes, which are much more powerful, but it's also the source of the preservation of the volcanoes. In 1962, we learned from radar observations of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory that Venus rotates around itself in 243 days. The planet rotates very slowly in the opposite direction of its orbital motion. This is called retrograde rotation. It's therefore the opposite direction to Earth and most other planets. One year on Venus does not even last one Venusian day. In fact, the planet needs 224.7 days to rotate around the Sun, or 0.924 days. Impact Craters on Venus – Danilova Impact craters are very common in planetary bodies because projectiles with kinetic energy, such as meteoroids, asteroids, or comets, have been colliding with planetary surfaces for billions of years. These real projectiles are able to penetrate the atmosphere of the planet and strike the surface at a speed of 10 kilometers per second with enough energy to generate shock waves in the rocky structure of the crust. These waves propagate and create craters by ejecting fumes, molten rock, and blocks of rock of various sizes. In general, impact craters have a round shape, a raised rim, and a shallow depth relative to their diameter. The crater is surrounded by deposits of ejected material that decrease in thickness as they move away from the rim. Due to the dense atmosphere of Venus, some aspects of the formation and morphology of its craters have characteristics that differ from those of other planetary bodies. The crater Danilova has a diameter of 49 kilometers. It has a typical impact structure with a central peak. Venus, a planet full of secrets. Alpha Regio. Through these missions, in which both probes and landing devices were involved, we learned a lot about the physical properties of Venus. Even better, the Russian probes also allowed us to obtain many images of its surface. Although these images helped us to better understand the planet, they also revealed the existence of strange lines that cover about 7% of its total area, the tesserae. Mosaic stones are actually an exogeological formation consisting of several folds that give an area a tiled appearance. At present, Venus is the only planet with tesserae. What is even more fascinating is that these famous lines can only be found in regions of average height, between 1,000 and 3,000 meters above sea level. There are many regions where these lines can be seen, and one of the best known is Alpha Regio. It's a publicly available photo that was selected for illustration. Venera 13 Since the early 1960s, probes have been sent to the planet to study it closely. Since then, about 20 have flown over the planet, orbited it, or dropped observation modules in its atmosphere and on its surface. In 1962, the American probe Mariner 2 performed the first flyover of the planet, followed in 1967 by Mariner 4. The Soviet Venera program sent out several automated space missions to explore Venus in the 1960s and 1970s. Venera 7 successfully landed on the planet in 1967. In 1981, two twin Venera 13 and 14 probes were successfully launched. Venera 13 takes the first color image of the surface of Venus. Its cooling system allows it to photograph its surroundings for two hours and transmit the images to Earth before the onboard electronics burn out under the heat. In an article, scientists from the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Scientists put forward the hypothesis that the images of Venera show 13 signs of life on Venus. In their opinion, certain objects appear, move and disappear, resembling a disk, a black cloth and a scorpion. In this way, it refers to their changing locations on the various photos and to the traces on the ground. 
This theory has been widely criticized because of the high temperature on Venus. These forms were then identified. They are simply the caches of the probe's targets, which were ejected by a feather and landed a little further away. An important feature of Venus is that its atmosphere reflects a large amount of light. This makes it the second brightest body in the night sky after the moon. Venus is so bright that under the right conditions, you can see it even in daylight and with the naked eye. Its mass and internal structure are similar to those of our planet. These similarities have often led to the claim that Venus is the sister planet of Earth. However, it's also important to say that there are many aspects in which the two planets are completely different, including the properties of their atmospheres. One of the important features of Venus is that its magnetic field is very weak compared to the Earth. This was a surprising discovery because due to the other similarities between the planet Earth and the planet Venus, it was expected to find a magnetic field similar to that of the Earth. Venus and Mercury are the only planets in the solar system that do not have natural satellites. What do you think about this planet? We're looking forward to your comment below.